Hi guys, happy Sunday. It's gonna be a busy day. So I am about to throw on some makeup because I'm about to record the final reveal for my library. And in the meantime, I did do a little of vlogging yesterday. So let's go back to yesterday where I was shopping and doing all the things with Kiyosha and her daughter. And then when I come back, we'll be nice and full of makeup. And I'll tell you about today's to-do list. Go over my match me with the leggings and some heels or some Doc Martens. So you want it to fit oversized. I like it because even if it's a little oversized, you could always tuck just the corner in like uh -huh. this. I like that. So you think it's too bigger than the medium? This is the medium. See, the medium will come here. Then. The medium probably isn't going to cover all of the tush by the time you put in. Why is that cute? Where am I going? Anywhere. Tulum. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a saloon. laughs> Anywhere you want to go. <laughs> I want to try it on. All right, you guys. Damage has been done at H and M. By everyone. By right. everyone. 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 Actually, I got three items. <laughs> and how much was yours? Don't worry about it. Okay. Quick OOTD while I am done. Um, try on clothes. This is from Walmart. This is just a uh, Tommy John like bralette. Target cargoes. Fendi bursta oh, style jeans. Poland. Turn around, let me see. Oh yeah, okay. okay. And here's the thing, friend. Mm -hmm. Is this an additional fifty? They're all, they're eight dollars. This is an additional fifty off what's on here. Wow. You said. Let me explain something to you. This is. I said the wrong. Thing. You should have never told her you that. You really shouldn't have. Get away. Bro, you think I can know that on work here? Oh my god. I have to have those. They're four dollars. Give me no, where mine? I don't I can't tell you. What about these? I don't wear really neither. No. My face too little, yeah. isn't it? That that's you need like I my mean face is too little. Headache. They're they go right there. All right, so now that we are all caught up on the day and I have my makeup on, let's do, oh, let me grab my bags. Let me show you guys what I got yesterday. And then we're going to do a to-do list of what we're doing today. And then I'm going to have to go shoot this video because it has to go up tonight. All right, so quick haul. Um, so I went to the outlet. I'll show you guys. We went to the outlet. Um, like I said, Jaylen got her first paycheck. I don't know what this lighting is doing. Maybe I should change it here. Maybe that's better. Anyway, Jalen got her first paycheck and she wanted to go spend it. So we stopped in H&M first. And I think I have a couple of videos so I can put them up here to show you what I got. But the first thing that I got was this gray dress from H&M. I actually recorded a reel, so I'll pop it up here. I love it. I got it in a size medium. It's the viral, like, flare dress. I tried on what I thought was the equivalent of the beige one. Mm, I didn't like it, so I didn't get it. Um, the other things that I got, I got just 
this nice Paris sweater. I like it. It's a nice beige color. And then I thought I would hate the gold buttons um, when I first saw it. And then I tried it on. I was like, oh, these gold buttons are staying. But it's just a nice sweater i feel like i want to pair it with so i have a couple things i want to pair it with i really want to pair it with um a maxi black skirt they had it at h&m they did not have my size now i'm on a hunt for a black maxi skirt i saw one on dish i just don't know if i can um i want to say it was like 149 169 with pants, I'm fine paying that because I know I'm going to wear them. I don't know if I'm going to get 170 uses out of the skirt. So right now, I'm still looking for another one. I tried to find it on the H&M website, but they were sold out of the black one. And then I got this green cropped bomber jacket. It's so cute, so comfy. So that's what I got from H&M. Um, then we went into American Eagle. I went into American Eagle originally because I wanted to get... I got these trousers that like these cargo jeans that I love but they're they're just way too big right now and I wanted to just go ahead and get another pair um instead of having to do the whole take in I couldn't find them so I'm just going to take them to my alteration lady this week to see if she can't take them in but I just got a plain knit knit mock neck shirt nothing fancy and then this is what irritated me so we go over to the clearance section because their jeans their jeans are like buy one get one fifty percent off but i didn't want to i wanted to only buy one and so the one pair was like seventy dollars so then we go over to the clearance section i see two pair of jeans right they didn't have the tens but i was like look for shits and giggles let me get the eights i get try on one pair of eight it's a black pair and it was embarrassing i'm just like <sighs> And then I try on these pair of eights. And tell me why they fit like a glove. Tell me why they fit like a glove. And they're both the same. It both said dreamy drape, super high waist, baggy wide leg. But these eights fit like a glove. But the other ones didn't. Uh, I was like, whatever. Um, so anyway, I got these. They are an eight long. So I, did, I am going to keep them in a long because I realized that I don't have a pair of like wide leg jeans to be able to wear boots with um all of my long wide leg jeans were too long so i had to get rid of them um and then they were only 29.99 dollars 99 so the last store that i got something out of was a store called francesca's i'm pretty sure i know that they're like regional um but i didn't get i mainly just got like accessories out of this store most of them being sunglasses but here here's the reason why they had like a clearance section and so the clearance was like an additional 50 percent off they did have some cute i would say they had some cute clothes in there i wouldn't necessarily consider it being like my style but they did have some pretty nice clothes in there and Jalen got a couple of things she got this cute skirt it's definitely Jalen's store it's a cute skirt and the little crop tops and all the things that the teenagers wear um this was not on sale but i wanted to get it I don't know if you guys can read it. Yep. Focus on that. I don't love coffee. Coffee loves me. Hmm. Love that. It had they had another one, but I can't remember what it was called. I, I can't remember what it was. And it was like a curse word on there. And I was like, all right, I won't get it. And then I got this. There's nothing special about it. It's just a um long line sports bra. So I'll pop up this reel. This is a reel that I posted with the sweatshirt thing. And a lot of people were asking me, hey, what are you using to tuck in the sweatshirt so it doesn't um, come undone? You can do a sports bra, but I've been doing these. One, because they're a long line. And then I always go a size down. So I actually got this in the small, small just to make sure that it's nice and tight around like the bra area. So that when I do tuck the sweatshirt, it's not going anywhere. So absolutely love that um and then i got they had these fragrance palettes it's by the it's by them um so i did wanted to um 
I smelt a couple of testers and kind of liked them. And I was going to get a full size version of Garden Party. But then I saw these one ounces and I was like, let me just do this. And there was only 24 bucks. And because they consider this a gift, this was 20% off. So this will probably be, most of the time if there's like these kind of like store fragrances, I reserve these for like right after the shower when I'm getting ready to go to bed. Or if I'm going to go work out or something lounging around the house. Not really any like going anywhere and doing anything. This is like I said, a lounge fresh out the shower and I'm about to go to bed something like that so I did get those and then last but not least I need to take my hair down because I think it's stretched enough I got several pair of sunglasses this pair was I think they were all like 450 so I can't I'll try to find and see if like Amazon has something similar because these aren't branded so I don't really know what brand they are there's no brand on the inside so anyway I got these I love the gold detailing on the sides. <gasps> love those. Did I mention they were $4.50? I got these green ones. I do have a pair of like darker green, but then I saw these and thought they were such a cute color. Did I mention they were $4.50? <laughs> I got these. I have a, had a pair that were similar to these and they broke so I got another pair of these I love these I like normally most of my sunglasses have to pass a cheek test because I have like chunky cheeks when I smile or laugh <laughs> I don't want my sunglasses to, to touch my cheeks so I need them like a little bit off of my nose and then last but not least I got these nice ones i have some very similar to this and your sister stole them so i had to get these again but i love i'm i've been really big into this like ombre gradient effect where it starts dark and then comes light and it passes the cheeks test anyway that's what i got that's my little mini outlet shopping haul so today i am once again putting on uh, all the clothes and all the makeup. I have on more makeup than I normally do for a Sunday, but that's because I um, am about to record the sit down final reveal for the library that would have already went up this past Sunday. I thought about doing a get ready with me because the Sephora sale is going on right now, um, but I waited too late to do it and I don't want to do it right now because I have my mother in law and my son here today and it can get like loud and I need it to be kind of quiet so I'm gonna film I'll make plans to film that this week and it'll go live Sunday so the Sunday after this video that way if you're still looking for some things on the Sephora sale you'll still be able to catch it before the, it goes off of sale um, so I'm about to record the sit down video for that um, and then we've got some things to do we're gonna go out and do brunch as a family because I think my mother-in-law is leaving um, tomorrow and then we need to go grocery shopping um, for the week because we're not I'm not leaving f with Kyosha until Friday so we have a week of things I need to sit down because I know William is going out of town for some days and I need to real f figure out am I doing which lunches and, and dinners I'm doing by myself um, and then your nephew is po like 70 fifths of an inch away from being too long for the doona. The weight's fine because I think it's like 30 it's 35 pounds or 33 inches long, whichever one is first, or 32 inches long, whichever one's first. He's like 23 pounds. So the, we're the height, I mean the weight's fine. Even mm -hmm. though he's 70th percent in weight, he's not gonna get there. For the height, he is 80th percent in height, which I don't know. I'm assuming he got it from a couple generations back because I'm five four and a half. Your friend is five eight. I want to say point is is that um he didn't get it from us but he's 31 or something anyway we got to get a new car seat which and then that comes a new stroller <laughs> so i saw a couple of options on walmart so we'll probably just end up grocery shopping at walmart that way we can do double duty anyway so i'm gonna put on some clothes and i'm gonna record the youtube video and i probably won't check in with you guys until we are gone we are headed to the restaurant i think william wanted to do village tavern today for brunch um and that's at the summit so i probably will do a brief check-in and give you show you guys the outfit of the day and then i'll see you guys at village tavern for brunch all right so video's done i still need to edit it 
when I get back. I think this might, hopefully it won't, but this might be the first time where my video doesn't go out on time at all this year. Like, I've been so good making sure that I, anyway, let's hope it's not, but if so, it might be like 30 to 45 minutes. So, getting ready to head out. I just, I'm trying to be a little, a little nice, but then also a little casual because we are going to do some other things, but Village Tavern, I mean, William says it's not, but to me, it's a fancy restaurant. I didn't want to have on jeans. So, I think my entire outfit is from Zara. This is a very, very old top, so I'm not going to be able to link it. These are just a pair of their black trousers, so I will link them. Um, and then I'm pairing it with my coach, coach slides because it's still giving very much hot. You guys always ask about my perfume duo. Y'all, I don't know about the layers. Every layering combo that I get, I got from someone else. Most of the time, it's either Fumi Monet or Brittany from Pockets and Bows or Karina Walden from YouTube. I will link all of them below. If you are confused on layering, me too. That's why I go to the professionals. <laughs> so for today, I have the Valentino. Um, this is the Yellow Dream. And I paired that with the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. Um, both of these are on sale. When is this going out? Yes, both of these are on sale and they are um, from the Sephora sale event. So I will link them below. Um, of course, you guys know the jewelry is my own. This is the Iva necklace. It's going to come back. I feel like this is now going to be the fifth restock. I bring it back and it's... I feel like I bring it back and I order more quantities every time and it still sells out. So I haven't um, ordered any more, but I am going to order some for the holidays. Um, I'm wearing the glasses that I just got yesterday. And then I'm also going to pair this with the Pauline bag, my black Pauline. I think it's the Noof bag. Is that it? Yes. Um, Alexander is still asleep. We, um, William put him down for a nap around like 10 something so he'll be nice and rested for today's adventure. Um, so yeah, we're going to wait until he wakes up and then I'll see you guys at the restaurant. Where were we at? And they had those breakfast tacos. It was like eggs and bacon and peppers. Was it? Wait, I know we got some breakfast tacos. brie and bacon omelet um and can i get mushrooms added to that mm -hmm. do you guys have like um bell pepper we have like green pepper can i get that as well mm -hmm. and i'll take that with a biscuit can i have one can, have one? can daddy have one? Oh, oh say i'll give you Like can mommy have some? She said grandma laughing oh, at me. Please. Can mommy have some? Can grandma have hers? Sure. Yeah. He can share with no everybody. Oh, it's Nordstrom Rack. Mm hmm. Several hours later, my video is going to be late, probably like 10 minutes. I, I had a friend who come, came over and I forgot to upload it to YouTube. So um, William's about to get ready to go grocery shopping. I was going to go, but then I honestly realized the stuff that I have to do and I'm not going to go. So he's going to go grocery shopping. I'm about to meal prep. I've already prepped. Or I told you to stay and do the stuff you have to do, as in instead of trying to tag along. 
You're welcome. Thank you. I have already meal prepped Alexander's um, meals for the week. So he normally just eat once after daycare and it's like a frozen pasta thing that has like vegetables in it. I'm about to go ahead and make some salmon croquettes for my meal prep. And then I kind of wanted to go ahead and do some overnight oats. Just probably like one or two, not too many. Um, yeah, I've got, oh, literally. So it was 34 minutes in the room. I just came out here where the Wi-Fi is strong and it's seven minutes. So it's not gonna be late because it's 6.47. It's gonna go just in time. So we're gonna meal prep and then I'm gonna go out on the patio and do my weekly to-do list and stuff. just in my library you guys would have already seen it um finishing here's the thing our book club for november is not until november the 18th the third saturday sunday in november um so i normally wait until probably like two weeks before to start reading the book so that it's nice and fresh but the way that the girls in the book and in the, our group me have already been like raving about this book and then we have a friend who's been giving away clues. I was like, you know what, let me just read this book. And it's not my normal, I, don't, I wouldn't say normal. It's, it kind of, I'll link it below. It's called Moth to Flame by Ashley Antoinette. And it's not a new book. This is like the 10 year or something. So it's not new at all. But it kind of reminds me of, it's like a combination of like any Zane book, pick one. And then a Carl Weber, The Family Business. If you've ever read that, read it, not the show that they have on BET. And then, I don't know, I feel like it's a third one. It's like a hodgepodge of those. Um, like I said, it's not my normal book that I go to because it's um, based in, like it's based off of like drugs and drug dealing but why can't I get this bristle but what I will have to say is that it was a very easy read um like I started reading it on the flight coming back from Vegas and then I got back to reality and just stopped and then picked it back up um later this week so it was definitely an easy read she does have a couple of other books that follow the family that I'll probably get but I enjoyed myself. So we're gonna do a skincare routine before we wrap this up. A lot of you guys have been asking about my skincare routine. And this is normally the routine that I do after I have um, a lot of makeup on, which I have for today. Like I said, I normally 
only time I'm really normally this heavy with makeup on Sundays is if I have to shoot content. So I had to shoot the YouTube video. So I'm starting off with the micellar water. Um, I like this one because it has vitamin C. So I'm going to take my makeup off with that one first. And this is just a very large cotton pad. And I'm trying to get my face with a with one side completely. And then I will turn it over and the side that hit, that my hand was holding, I will get my eye makeup. So yeah, today was, it wasn't as busy as I thought, but I don't know why I was so tired. Um, we went to brunch, I completely forgot, <laughs> thank William for reminding me, that we had to go into Nordstrom Rack. Um, I worked with Nordstrom Rack, I feel like the first six months, um, like, yeah january through july anyway so we're picking back up and i'm gonna be working with them from november to january um tick tock we've been on the stories and so i needed to go pick up some outerwear for us to shoot content this week um like i said the first one isn't due until like early to mid november but i want to go ahead and shoot the content that way i like to go ahead and get it done early if i can um that way it, for the collaborations that come through the pipeline that are last minute i still have time for those um second i like to take off my makeup with like two forms so i just use the micellar water i'm going to go in with the lms this is their newest one it's a pro collagen this has the green green fig cleansing balm um i just like their cleansing balm i think they have one um clinique has one that's pretty good Pharmacy has one that's pretty good. I just like to use something to melt. I saw, I think Fenty Beauty has one. I kind of want to see. I haven't went into Sephora since the sale started. I'm being honest, y'all y'all just saw a couple of vlogs ago where I went into Sephora and completely lost my mind. And so now I'm like, well, with the exception of the Fenty, not the Fenty, the one size. And I just wet my, one of my clean skin clubs, towelettes. I haven't used towels in forever. So I just wet one of those and take off that. So yeah, besides the one size setting spray, I'm being honest, I really don't have a need for anything in Sephora. So unless something just like pops out like i don't need to replenish anything i'm not getting low on anything um i'm not in like the market for anything so unless something like jumps out i don't think i'll be shopping this for a sale um but i am going to be doing so y'all see that so let this be a lesson my cellar water doesn't take off all the makeup and now let's put on some gloves. These are the cutest things. They're so cute. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha Rice Water Cleanser. So yeah, I don't need to shop anything from the Sephora sale. Um, but I have just been getting a lot. I just get a lot of questions in general like my skincare and then about my makeup So the video that's going to come up this Sunday is a Get ready with me. I asked you guys a Q&A last week of your questions So I'm going to be answering questions. I also asked Instagram So I'm just going to be answering your questions while putting on makeup and I figured that would be a good time for those that do need to Get some makeup or some skincare. They can shop the Sephora sale I want to say it ends on the 6th, so the video on Sunday will be just in time. Alright, makeup is off. Let's do... I normally do a toner, but I just don't feel like waiting for it to, to drop. But normally if I do... Let me just do a toner. I, I mean, might as well. I do the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Glow Toner. Let's just go ahead. Sometimes I get really lazy at night and I have to force myself that I'm not cleansing my face for me now. I'm cleansing myself for 40 and 45 year old me who still wants to be wrinkle free and have glowy skin. So whenever I think about it, I'm like, Alicia, just do it because 45 year old you is going to thank you. 
just like right now i'm thinking my 29 year old self that i know we was out in the club but i appreciate you for coming home at two o'clock in the morning and still doing your skin care <laughs> 35 me appreciates it i'm going in with the kills and i'll have these all linked and i'll have them linked in the order that i use them but i'm going in with a dark spot corrector and then we have to let we're gonna let that has to completely dry and then so while that dries I brush my teeth so let me do that and then I'll come back all right teeth are brushed and clean so let's move on next up we're gonna go with the Elemis superfood this is a facial oil I um, normally do the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate um, but I'm out and I ran out several weeks ago and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna buy another one. But then I was like, Alicia, just see what you have in your very overflowing PR box. So I found this and I was like, oh, let me try it. And actually, I really like it. So, and the good thing about it is that I have two more <laughs> in my little PR box. So I won't need oil for a while. Um, and then I don't use this every single day because sometimes it gets a little irritating for my skin but it's the Kiehl's retinol skin renewing daily microdosing serum um, so I'll do this like every other day um, just because I don't feel like like I don't think my skin is sensitive except for around the time that I my eczema starts to flare up which is happening oh it's happening like I feel like I do a good job with keeping it at bay, but sometimes it's like, it's a lot. All right, the moisturizer, we're gonna do the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I love, so you guys know I have, I go in between Gel X and then Press Ons. Right now I have on Gel X Nails. So I like that it comes with this little thing that you can scoop out and then put some on your hand and I'll put that back because I don't want to lose it. It's pretty small. I'm glad my fingers are small and I got a feeling I put way too much moisturizer on. But I like to put on a pretty big amount. I also don't forget your neck people because if you haven't looked at anyone lately the first sign that you can see someone's age their neck and their fingers so i make sure i moisturize my neck and then i lather hand cream right before i go to bed and then last but not least it's a long process but like i said i only really do it when i have like heavy heavy makeup days um, and that is the vaseline all over body balm because in case you haven't realized, she likes to shine. She likes to shine at night. All right, let's go put on our pajamas and then our PM fragrance and let's get in the bed. All right, pajamas are on. I just have on this set from Soma. Their pajamas are absolutely probably one of, not probably, the most comfortable pajama sets I own I think I own like five or six of them just from just get buying them on sale and then from working with them um they're just really comfortable so I'll link some of my favorites below what I will say is that if they're not on sale because I haven't had time to check if they're not on sale don't buy them because we are right around the corner from Black Friday and Cyber Monday and they always have like at least a 50% off sale so if I'll link the ones that I like below if they're not on sale just bookmark it and just go back Friday um Black Friday or Cyber Monday because they always have at least 50% off so and that's a great time to get them I think I'm gonna do for my fragrance of the night yes if you don't wear fragrance to bed try it just don't try, don't do like an expensive one because you're just rolling around in the bed do like a body mist or like something from Zara something inexpensive I'm gonna do I can't remember if I was gonna do wonderlust or garden party from the fragrances that I got yesterday I think I want to do garden party. I don't like to do anything harsh. I really like to be like fresh and floral. No, I'm going to do Wonderlust. Oh, you sleep so much better. And I'm going to get ready to go to bed. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this 
weekend vlog i am going to be turning around and starting another vlog tomorrow um and that will probably stop friday because then that goes into the weekend slash surprising Kyosha with her birthday trip vlog um so yeah i'll be vlogging this week because i have a ton of stuff to do but if you have reached the end of this video you have not subscribed please don't forget to subscribe i'll make sure that i put everything that i showed mentioned talked about in the description box if i fail to do that for anything please leave me a comment below so i can update that description box for you as always guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and i'm going to catch you guys sunday seven o'clock later